What's up, cyber world? Welcome to the Ash Said It Show. I'm your girl, Ash Brown, and I appreciate all of the love and support. Over 1,700 episodes and half a million streams worldwide. None of this is possible without you guys, so I thank you so very, very much. Today is a wonderful, blessed day, and we are chatting with Chef Sean of Fire Pit Pizza Tavern here in the A-Town. Hey, Chef Sean. How you doing, Ash? <laughs> I'm doing pretty awesome. Thank you so much for joining us. I know you guys are busy. You know you're cooking up some goodness yeah, we, in the kitchen. <laughs> yeah, we are staying busy these days. I guess that's a, that's a good problem to have, you know? Yes, yes, definitely good. So, Chef Sean, you know, as most, as all businesses have been affected by the pandemic, how have you guys been able to adapt to now, you know, from little to no business to everything just ramping up? Yeah, so, you know, um, we were actually uh, kind of lucky, pretty blessed that we, from the beginning, uh, kind of adapted to the situation, and mm. we stayed uh, pretty busy throughout the whole pandemic. I mean, from, from day one, I think we actually only shut down for maybe two or three days while we oh, kind of wow. gathered our thoughts, and uh, the owner, Leslie Cohen, on me and her talked about what we wanted to do with our menu and how we were going to kind of move forward. Then we just kind of hit the ground running. Luckily, I think, too, you know, pizza and wings and sandwiches and salads are kind of just a, a no-brainer for, for takeout food, you know. So, um, so yeah, we, we kept it moving. And then kind of once things opened back up, I think the biggest, biggest uh, kind of stumbling block we've had is kind of the staffing uh, of the restaurant to support the crowds that are coming out. And I'm sure... Um, through other people that you've done this with, yeah. you've heard about the, 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 those those woes that we're having in the restaurant industry. So yeah, but I'm I'm hoping that we're turning a corner soon. I think things are starting to get a little bit better, and well into 2022. So who knows? We'll, we'll check to see. Who, yeah, who well, you know, us. we're gonna we're gonna adapt regardless. You know, we're grateful to be supported by the neighborhood, and yeah. um, you know, they they've been super good to us as it has as in all of our guests been. You know, we kind of just uh, keep keep it moving and try to make sure that, that we can serve the people. We get it done one way or another, you know? Yeah, <laughs> certainly. So with your, ex- <laughs> with your extensive culinary background, how do you find new ways of creating really awesome menu items for Fire Pit? So, yeah, I think, you know, um, we're constantly kind of trying to put something new on the menu and you know, we have a pretty pretty solid menu that remains the same through the course of the year. We're mm-hmm. always running some some special or a couple special items, you know, maybe based on what's going on around us or the season. Um, you know, and we just kind of draw from whatever we have going on, maybe somewhere we date, maybe somewhere we've been, maybe a trip we've taken, you know. Um, maybe it's one of us on a, on a health kick, we're running a special salad. Maybe it's one of, one of us in the dumps, we're running some... A Philly cheesesteak or something, mm-hmm. you know, it's a little, <laughs> a little worse for you, but, uh, yeah. you know, we, we just kind of, um, you know, I try to pull from, um, kind of life experience and what we have going on and maybe mm. what, what's, what, what's in season at that time, you know? Okay. Cool beans. Now I've just gotten back to Georgia. Woo woo. I'm back on, onto the red clay. I've, I've returned. Yeah, welcome back. And, <laughs> thank you. And I haven't made it out there to Fire Pit yet. But I got to tell you, Chef Sean, I've been making some life changes, and it was recommended to me to, to go the plant-based route. So I was looking to see uh-huh. if you guys had some, some possible vegan options and gluten-free options for us. Yeah, absolutely. We actually have a pretty extensive, <laughs> well, extensive for, for a pizzeria and a, and a tavern. Yeah. Uh, uh, vegan and gluten free menu. We actually have one that we, that we offer to tables if they want it. Uh, we make our own vegan cheese in house. Uh, it's a ricotta. And, uh, like a, it's like a vegan ricotta mm-hmm. cashew and tofu base. Um, uh, kind of my own recipe that then we put on top of either pizzas. We do a sub with it. We uh, put a bella melt with it. Okay. Um, and then as far as gluten free goes, uh, we have a gluten free pizza crust. Oh. Um, that we use. It's not something that we make in house, but right. uh, it's a product that we feel pretty strongly is probably the best on the market. Um, I think we're one of only a couple places in Atlanta that are actually using that crust. Oh. Uh, and uh, yeah, we tend to get a lot of lot, lot of return visitors for that. Yes. Now I'm sure you and the rest of Atlanta was super excited that we are back into football season. It is full force. People are starting to tailgate again, and people are ordering some foods. Now, if they can't make it out to Fire Pit, Chef Sean, 
are people able to actually cater or, you know, just order to go type of items in bulk? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we, we love to cater for big events. We love to okay. cater for small events. We love, uh, we love it. Whatever people want, we're, we're about giving it to them. We, we always tell people <laughs> that we're a yes company. If there's something we can do for you, uh, we'd love to be of service uh, in that way. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I mean, you know, whatever the party size is, we need the needs. And we can do it pretty quickly, too. I think we had uh, a couple weeks ago, we had somebody call on a fly on like a Thursday that wanted, you know, a enough food for like 200 people on a Friday or something. It was crazy, you oh, know? Wow. And, uh, and uh, you know, we made it happen. You know, we, we might have to say, hey, we can't do these items, but we, we can offer up some other things, you know, so we, we make it work, you know? And, yeah. Uh, people love our wings, so we always have them in houses. One thing we haven't quit serving that some other places have, we found a way to make it work, so we've stayed serving wings. So okay. football head gloves, chicken wings. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's the first thing to go. That is the first thing to go, yeah. wings and fries. <laughs> so, Chef Sean, when I make it back out, when I make it out there to fire pit, am I going to be able to pull you out the kitchen for like a millisecond just to say, hey, can I can I tug on you and bother you for a minute? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, I'm usually there uh, there uh, a lot. You know, I can't tell you exactly it is. I'm usually in the building somewhere, and if I'm not, uh, the owner lets me go in. She's just as knowledgeable about everything we got going on. In there. Gotcha. Cool beans. And let everyone know the best way to get more information about catering and everything else that's going on with Fire Pit. So the best way to uh, get information on catering is to actually call us. We're, uh, like I said, we're kind of a yes company, an old school place. Mm-hmm. Call uh, 404-495-4777. Ask for me, ask for Leslie, ask for one of the managers, and, and we'll, we'll make it happen. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Thank you so much for your love and support. Keeping in mind, anyone to tell you that you can't do what you want to do. You look them square in the face, you tell them, don't believe me. Just watch. Watch what I do. Watch me make it happen. Watch me make history. That's what we're doing this for, the history books. Social media is nice, but real life is so much better. Until next time, you guys.